Hello and welcome back, my fellow mages and mystics. And today, you need to get down. But today, we are going to venture into the castle because we haven't been in there in a while. And I still need to clean up a lot of the castle. So this room is cleaned up and pretty much decorated the way we want it minus a few things so what we're going to do is we're going to basically try to clean up some of the castle and we have a ram in here and he's touchy and we have a U up here so huh. yeah so we're going to take the lab equipment, the ruined bucket, from there, huh? sneak past her, and I want to try to clean up a bunch of this stuff, because, <clears throat> for one, this is one of the ways I've been getting a vast majority of materials, metals, metal nuggets. That's a shame that those break. So things like these ruined weapons, they drop metal. Uh, because of the one mod that I had, the scraps mod, it allows me to break up <coughs> ruined materials to use in other ways. Huh, Abacus, that's pretty cool. So we have a lot of this material here that isn't going to be used <clears throat> in any other way, shape, or form. Some of the stuff, like here, I'm going to leave. Like these rooms, these rooms can be fixed. So I'm going to basically leave them. And we're going to come in to some of these rooms. And get the crap off the floor for one the oven that's all right metal tank uh, metal barrels those are really good and I'll show you why momentarily I don't know if I've shown you before, but those metal tanks are really good. So I believe now we have this room. Alright, we have this room. Oh, we don't have this room. More metal tanks. I'll get the books. metal barrels, ruined table, ruined table, all right, you can be put back, But yeah, some of the stuff
Ooh. <clears throat> Green marble rock. Low fertility soil. That's interesting. That's what I was trying to get there. So. We are cleaning it up either way so and we can use that we can dig out a room down there all right since we don't have sheep in here anymore I can basically come through and get all the ruined stuff and yeah we can do that so we are going to be working on a lot of things so first off this is why I wanted to clear up <clears throat> a lot of this stuff ruined globe woodworking tools broken anvil Ruined weapons. Those are all iron bits. So now if we put the saw in, we can start getting ruined planks back out of a lot of this stuff. That I'm going to keep. That I'm going to keep. Okay, the globe. The chairs. The ruins. <clears throat> and it's never really a lot it's just a lot combined now these metal barrels that's two iron plates per so that is eight metal plates that's almost half of what I spent making the water wheel and I'm hungry. I'll get to you in just a second. Ruined books. Okay, that's fine. Let's get... Let's get some lunch. And now... Ruined tables. I want to get these <clears throat> barrels, not because 
I want to break them down, but because I think I think I can use them for something cool at some point. <clears throat> Ruin pipe segments. Ruin chandeliers. Small ruined crates. Tools. Apparatus. That could be cool. Bucket. More ceiling. <coughs> ceiling manacles. A block and tackle. More metal barrels. Some of the stuff I'm picking up here, I'm not going to break down. I'm going to keep <clears throat> for decorative reasons. But, like this ruined pipe segment, I can get the iron bits out of that. Ruined chandelier. I'll get the bits out of that. Can this be broken down? It can. Five iron plates. We'll take it. The ruined apparatus. I'm keeping that for reasons. Ruined small crates. Ruined buckets. Ceiling manacles. I'll take the iron plates. Chains I'm keeping. Ruined assembler. Ruined small crate. Lots and lots of things to recycle and decorate with, which is nice. Candle stubs. Another ruined assembler, another ruined bucket. This was very worth coming in to clean up. I had completely forgotten that I had left a lot of this stuff in the castle. But yeah, if you're interested in what mod I'm using that breaks this stuff down, it's called Scraps. And it's very very handy especially when you're playing with mods that have a lot of ruined uh, ruined places in it you can break down and get a lot of materials back so here we go on another round ruined weapons Tables, books, apparatus, assembler, bucket, I ain't gonna do it. But those tanks will. The block and tackle I'm keeping, chains I'm keeping. Ruin stove. That gives us more iron plates. I will take the iron plates candle stubs of different types woodworking tools I'll keep the junk barrels I'll keep cobweb barrels I'll keep mm -hmm. 
tool shelves, run tables. that stuff for now. Another ruined stove. Ceiling hook. So I'm taking basically certain items because for the moment oh, whoops well let's come into here and see what we can get more chains but yeah, <clears throat> we are going to be working on the castle fairly soon. A locust head. I'll break that, but that won't break down into anything. A broken anvil. Broken anvil. More woodworking tools. That's fine. I'll break the fire pit. And brings us back to here. We're basically above where I was. Ruined bucket. And that brings me over to here. So. <clears throat> That gave us a lot of replacement materials. And yeah, I've been doing some work in here. I made a quench tank and I have some stuff set up. My ingots and plates. So let's get to work breaking all the rest of this stuff down that I want to break down. Ooh, meteoric iron bits. <clears throat> that was pretty awesome to get those. I'm going to keep the chains. I'm going to keep the block and tackle. lot of iron which is cool I'm gonna keep that ruined stove for now I might break it down later I'm not entirely certain ruined weapons okay I think I've got pretty much everything okay meteoric iron bits we have quite a bit of it. I have some that I have actually harvested from meteors in the wild. But iron bits. Let's see how many stacks of iron bits we got. Six and a quarter-ish stacks. And I have a chest over here with some 
stuff and basically <clears throat> from cleaning my inventory apparatus abacus ceiling hooks block and tackle lab equipment chains I'm gonna put that stuff in there for now support beams cobblestone chisel <clears throat> because <clears throat> I'm planning a little project for here. Probably the next episode. I should have put the iron plates in the box. But that's fine. Pile of aged books. Can go in here. one of these chests. I've got to label these chests soon. Okay. Phylite cobblestone. Granite gravel. Granite cobblestone. That can go in here. This can go in here, green marble. And rot crates. The aged wood planks can go <clears throat> here where I have a ton of aged wood planks that I've been getting from ruins and stuff. We're going to use a lot of these for the roof of this building, actually. So, that was a little bit of an exploration in the barbershop. Oh, I put flower boxes on the barbershop, or the blacksmith shop here. So, yeah. And they only stack to eight. The iron plates. But yeah, I got back what I used for making the water wheel. So now I'm going to talk about the next little project. Well, kind of pretty major project for this area. The reason why this is grass and I haven't done a heck of a lot and I've put pack dirt on this part and this is gravel uh, I'm going to make the pathway this path the wooden path lead in and then this way and down and under this area here is going to be stone I'm going to dig this all up and put a stone floor down. I'm going to take this tower down. I may end up moving the gate over a couple. And from here, this area right here, I am going to basically continue on the castle moat. Out like around here, around this around this part of the castle and out in this direction and I'm going to have a little stream that comes off I'm going to take up this path here make a stone bridge the stream is going to go in and down and I'm going to have the water wheel right in here making power for the hell hammer and the pulverizer so I'm gonna be working on a lot of that between episodes 
and I put doors in here because I wanted to have a nice area. I put some of the Molybdicalcus lanterns up that I made for this. So this is lit up because drifters and stuff were spawning in here. And it was not a fun time. So I do have a little bit of food left in that. So we're going to finish that up. And we're going to sleep. But yeah, that is the plan for that. And underground there, where I just showed you where I was going to dig up and put stone, there's going to be a stairway down that is going to lead into a steampunk-inspired workshop, which is going to have the um, helve hammer, the pulverizer, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not quite time to plant, but it is March 1st, a negative 3.7 degrees. So it should start warming up pretty soon. And I will be able to start having some of the crops being able to put into the ground. So, apparently, not quite yet. So, but yeah, we have one plot of crops with Terra Preta. And we have a second one that's just lacking five. But I have a ton, well not a ton, but I have a couple stacks, almost three stacks of high fertility soil. I should be able to. Yeah, so I don't. Oh! I do have charcoal. <clears throat> I made a big charcoal pit here. One of the main reasons was to make the Terra Preta. should be able to make a couple pieces of the Terra Preta. So press H on that. Ingredient for Terra Preta. So I need this in those corners. Charcoal in the center. That gives me two because of the compost. But I have more compost. Nope, that don't go in there. I'm gonna put that in there for that. But I have more compost going. I have that that I just sealed, that. This one's getting close. So this one should be pretty close to being done. So a lot of this stuff, and I have more that is going. So let's go and put these two pieces in. So yeah. <clears throat> yep, so there's that. Ah. Uh, this this ledge here is going to be taken back to there and used <laughs> I've still got to finish filling this in but every time I get a couple pieces of dirt that I don't need for anything else I just come in over and throw them in there 
<clears throat> because the orchard's going to go here. These are going to get moved. I'm going to extend the room out one more for the mud hut. I'm going to extend it out to here. And I'm going to extend the room out to here. Those are all going to have to be moved. I'm probably going to move them. I don't know. Like, I might move them over, say, like here for now. Oh, we have maple sap. We'll be able to do something with that really soon. I threw a lantern there. The kapok tree. I still need to tend to that. Get seeds. We have a birch tree over here. Bucket still empty. The pine tree buckets are still empty. Because, oh. That has a little bit of resin in it. So that's cool. So yeah. Things are coming together for year two. I'm excited to be able to get some stuff planted. Um, my sluice ramp setup is probably going to get moved somewhere. I don't really care at the moment that it stays here. But like I said before, all the stuff that was here is temporary and will be moved at some point. So, hopefully you're looking forward to seeing how things turn out. And I do need to tend to one more thing. I've been using the smoker for meat and stuff that I've been gathering between episodes. So, I got some bush meat and some red meat. I went in the wrong place. This needs to go in here. Alright, so smoked red meat is going to go there. I'm going to put that up because I'm going to use this first. 10% spoiled. Let's take that. I'm going to eat one piece of it because, yeah. Smoked bush meat. Four pieces. I'll just put that on there. Because that'll extend it. Alright, that filled me up. And 11% spoiled. I will put that out in here with the rest of the spoiling food. To turn into, eventually, more Terra Preta. So, but yeah. Hopefully, you are enjoying how the town is starting to come out. I've got a lot of projects yet to do. I still have to finish the roof of the bakery. That's a big project. Eh, kind of big. Time consuming. And finish the yard for the blacksmith shop. Then I'm going to turn this into the farmhouse orchard. And then we will start working on doing some more stuff. We'll have to figure it out. I've got a lot to do. Plans to get a lot of these projects done that I wanted to do. Crops to put in and things like that. So if you're still enjoying the series, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, advice... Anything of that sort, put it in the comment section down below. And until next episode, guys, stay magical, have fun, stay dry, warm, and safe. And I will talk to you again in the next episode. Bye.